What's up guys? Good morning. Welcome back to another video. We're back in the shop. We're in the upper area of the shop today. It is rainy and cold outside, so we definitely don't want to be out there. <laughs> we had a couple things we want to finish up on this body right here. This one is going into paint um, for our Bronco. We have a surprise we're gonna show you near the end of a few uh, details that they're probably excited about. So, pretty much the biggest thing we have left to do on here is these rockers. We just need to do the final, final weld in. They're all kind of set in place. I think we're actually welded all on the bottom. It's just the top. We need to cinch it in place and tack weld all that in. Then we're gonna run through to our seam sealer, top and bottom. And we are gonna throw this onto our, so right now it's on a shipping uh, jig. And this is just what we use for assembly, for shipping, for all of that. We have the bare chassis that's outside. I think you guys have seen it in the past. It's covered in overspray, all that. <laughs> that's what we paint on. Um, so the rotisserie bolts to that and everything else. So we're gonna be doing some of the, the work on this, the get the rockers in. I think that's the only thing we're really gonna do. Then we're gonna put it on the rotisserie, on the other chassis, which we're gonna have to use the lift downstairs to do that and that's when we're gonna do some disassembly. The doors come off, the windshield comes off, the full front clip, you know, so the, the fenders, grill hood, tailgate, all that comes off, um, anything that can't unbolt. Then we're gonna run through, do a seam sealer, uh, make sure all the areas are perfectly prepped for paint. We're gonna go through and, uh, you know, we're not gonna touch anything up, not until we do our, our, uh, our primer epoxy primer and then a guide coat but yeah so pretty much that's it so we're gonna work on these rockers throw it on the other frame do a disassembly and then we'll start on doing our seam sealer so you guys see that that process kind of what we're doing and getting ready for paint and then uh like i said at the end we're gonna fill you guys on what we decided as far as what we're gonna do with the color of this bronco all right guys stay tuned road trip i guess uh we were out of wire we had like what enough for like eight tacks <laughs> if that <laughs> if that left in there so we're running off to go grab some uh some wire right now down the street we got a iron works shop place where we get a lot of our steel and whatnot so we'll be back in the shop soon all right guys we got our new wire this is what we were running before the hobart uh, 024, it's just a MIG solid wire. Now, this stuff over here, it's Esob, which is uh, definitely a well-known brand. This is an Easy Grind uh, 023, so pretty much the same size. It uses the same nozzle. So we're gonna give this a shot, see how it works. Uh, it was recommended at the welding shop. They didn't even know they had it until like last week or something when a body shop company came in so hopefully we found something that people don't know about so I figure we'd let you guys know and uh in a minute here we'll tell you what we think in comparison to just the regular old solid wire even though i guess we probably wouldn't even know until we grind since that's what it just says it's supposed to be it's easy grind but yep figure we'd let you guys know as we we're using before this is what we're using now so we'll see how it, how it goes it's made in italy i mean that means something i don't fucking know <laughs> all right quick update chris and i got this all welded up ground down um on both sides you see that in the time lapse but now we gotta get this mess cleaned up down here all these bins that had the paint stuff in them yeah we we'll just put it all back on the shelf and then bring this up bring the bronco onto it get it down here yep get so for the to throw it on the the paint chassis yep and put that on the rotisserie and get this thing all prepped up 
finished up, we're gonna turn it upside down, see what needs to be touched up and stuff like that, welded, grinded. And then tomorrow, I think tonight we'll pick up some seam sealer. Yep. And then uh, tomorrow I'll just go full, full force into this thing, getting it prepped for paint. Seam uh, sealer, epoxy primer, that type of deal. Yep. So that's where we're at, you know, quiet day, nothing too crazy going on, which is nice. I know we've got a mess in here right now, which drives me absolutely we might have to do that tomorrow. nuts. We might need to take a few hours <laughs> to just do a nice cleanup. <laughs> It drives me nuts. Like I really can't even think straight when I see stuff that I'm moving out of the way. Oh, by the way, Kelly <laughs> sent me, it's this uh, Makita. She's like, hopefully Milwaukee comes out soon. Comes out <laughs> one soon so you guys can get it. That vacuum cleaner. Oh gosh. That shop vacuum cleaner that I showed you last year. Yep. Just see, saying. See, this is why, this is why we can never have certain things in our life because we spend all the money here. Because I'm assuming that's what, two grand? I think it's like 900 bucks. 900 dollars. <laughs> so yes, it is two grand. One up top and one down below. We have to build a little wall so it doesn't go off the edge. Because <laughs> it would go off the edge. I think it has sensors. <laughs> so, all right guys, just want to give you a quick update. So enjoy the rest of the video. Alright guys, so we haphazardly got this Bronco down off the edge. I don't know if you guys were able to see the mayhem we dealt with on the time lapse. Um, where the casters are, they're too narrow to go on the four post. So we're going to be making a new jig cart here soon. Uh, that way that's not an issue in the future because what we did was probably the dumbest thing that we have ever done in the shop. He held the front of it with a forklift and I held the back of it with straps. And then we went off the edge and then we dropped it. Um, literally almost dropped it. <laughs> so, Jared, are we doing that again? No, we're retiring for the day. <laughs> yeah, I don't even want to do anything. It's like two o'clock and I'm done. Like that stressed me, that stressed me out way too much. But yeah, now that we have this down here, we are going to tomorrow, you know, uh, actually tomorrow most likely we're gonna roll it out of the way get all the other boxes, throw them back up where we're standing right here so they're out of the way. Then we will throw the body up on the lift, take off the jig, and put it on our painting chassis that bolts to the rotisserie. At that point, um, we're gonna go through and start the disassembly, start doing the seam seal, start doing things of that nature, getting it ready for paint, and hopefully paint it within the next few days um, and that's I think that's that's that for this one um, yeah so hope you guys are having a good week <laughs> not breaking anything um, oh you know what we never did tell them what we're doing for paint we're gonna tell you tomorrow we'll tell you what we're gonna do for paint tomorrow we'll tell you when we'll tell you when we actually pull the paint back out so we're not gonna <laughs> stop our day to literally just pop a lid off We'll tell them when we no, actually... No, no, no. We want to do a test. We want to do a test and see it. Oh, yeah, we'll do that. We definitely want to see it on a panel. We have an uncut panel. We have a couple extra kick panels, a couple other things like that. So we're going to spray something uh, just to see what it looks like. But yeah, that's the end of it for today. But yeah, that will be a reveal that will be coming probably the next time we're, we're messing with this. But yep, hope you guys are having a good week. Uh, again, if you guys have any tips, tricks, advice, questions, whatever, throw it down in the comments. If you got to this point of the video, there's no reason you can't hit that subscribe button and like button. Um, if you do not, then don't come back. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But no, please, it really does help us. You know, if you actually got to this point where we probably have like 15 seconds left in this video and you don't press the subscribe button, I, you know, it's kind of rude. So thanks for being here and hope you guys have a good week.